Okay, today during math, we're going to be working on identifying and describing circles and triangles. First, we're going to watch a video. How do you show circles and triangles? What shape is traced here? What shape is traced here? What shape does that look like? Is it a circle or a triangle? What are some characteristics of circles and triangles? Think about it to yourself. A circle is traced. What does a circle look like? What does a circle look like? Does a circle have any straight lines? Does it have any corners? Does it have any straight sides? Think about what a circle looks like to you. It is round and does not have straight sides or corners. What is the arrow pointing to? What is the arrow pointing to? What shape is this? What are some characteristics of this shape? Describe this shape. The arrow is pointing to a flying disc. What shape is the flying disc? Is the flying disc a circle or a triangle? How do you know? The flying disc is the shape of a circle. How do you know it is a circle? It is round and does not have straight sides or corners. What shape is traced here? All right, let's look at what shape is traced here. Does this shape have any straight sides? If it does, how many straight sides does it have? Does it have any corners? Does it have any curves? Is it round? What shape is this? Think about it to yourself. A triangle was traced. What does a triangle look like? What does a triangle look like? Does it have straight sides? Does it have curved sides? How many sides does it have? It has three sides and three corners. Another word for corners is vertices. A triangle has three vertices. Vertices is another word for corners. The corners are where the two sides or straight lines meet. So this is a corner, this is a corner, and this is a corner. Corners and vertices mean the same thing. They are where the sides meet each other, or where the straight lines meet each other. Look at this picture. What is the arrow pointing to? What is the arrow pointing to? Let's look at this part of the boat. It's the sail. Is the sail shaped like a circle or a triangle? What do you think? Does it have three sides and three corners, like a triangle? Or is it round and have no sides, like a circle? Let's try it. Decide if each object is a circle or a triangle. Sort the objects. Okay, so we have two boxes here. It says circle. And the next box says triangle. So we need to sort the objects into circles and triangles. We remember that circles don't have any straight sides. They are round. So let's go over to our objects and see if we can find them. The circles are round and have no sides. This looks like a circle and this looks like a circle and here's our flying disc. That's a circle also. Triangles have three sides, three straight sides, and three vertices 
or corners. This looks like a triangle. And here's another one. And the sail. The sail is another triangle. The arrow is pointing to a white sail on a sailboat. What shape is the sail? The sail is the shape of a triangle. How do you know it is a triangle? How do we know this is a triangle? Think about what you know about triangles. How many sides does it have? How many vertices or corners does it have? It has three sides and three vertices. Now you can identify circles and triangles. Great job. So today when you do your interactive workbook page, you'll be completing page 693. Please make sure you read the directions at the bottom of the page so that you don't make any mistakes. If you have any questions or comments or need any assistance, feel free to reach out to your teacher.